Hey guys, the reason I'm doing this video is when we were searching for a 2019 Flying Cloud, there were virtually no videos or walkthroughs. We chose the 19 footer mainly because it fit in our budget, but also the kind of space that we wanted. We wanted to make sure that we can get to all state parks. We wanted to make sure that we could get into places that larger airstreams couldn't get into. And we also wanted to stay light and nimble. We can virtually pull into any parking lot, whether it be a Walmart, Costco, and we can fit end to end with our vehicle and our airstream and get in no problem. So I just want to show you a couple things on the outside, a couple features, and then Amber's going to take you inside to see what it looks like. So obviously the length, when they talk about a 19 footer, they're talking about the tongue to the end, 19 feet. It's not the inside of the camper. That's a little bit smaller than 19 feet. Just something to keep in mind when you're talking about space. Has everything pretty much every Airstream has. This came with just one awning on top. Has an awning on this side. You have an option to get an awning on the back and the other side if you wanted to. We just went with the one awning. Uh, you can see it's got pretty much everything all the standard Airstreams will have. Um, this model in the 19 foot has one pop out window here on the front. On this side to uh, air in. So on this side you have your one step down, come around, you got your pop-up window out in the front, shade window, another window. Here you have your two canisters of your propane to fit inside the canister tank if you come around the other side. got all your utility hookups, you've got your water, your electrical, your tanks. I'm going to assume that most of you going into this already know something about it. When we started just a few months ago, we knew nothing about uh, travel trailers. In fact, we called an RV, a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, the same when you didn't know the difference. So I'm not going to bore you with little details, but just basically to show you what the 19-footer has. The Flying Cloud has your shower outside. This is where you put your water in if you're not hooked up to water. Uh, I won't list all the specs on this, but it's, they're about 20 to 25 gallons. All your tanks, including your fresh water, your gray water, and your black water. Um, you've got a cable hooked up there. This is where we're camping right now. It has a cable. Uh, on top, you can see pretty much has your antenna for your digital antenna, AC unit on top. We have a solar panel on top. The one we have up there now is just 85 watts. We might get another one. We find that it is pretty much trickle power. It comes in pretty slowly. So let's see, I don't think there's really much else on the outside. Pretty much everything standard. Super handy or electrical jack. Um, just press the button up and down got a nice little feature on the light on the outside in case it's night and uh, you can see which we have needed a couple of times uh, I will say that um, my wife does most of this work she's really good at it when I'm backing it up I don't think there's really much outside different it's got a couple of LED outside lights um, obviously you look model to model you're gonna see a couple of features that are different but most of them are pretty much standard as far as what you'll have awnings and lights. Um, as your door that has a screen door to get you inside for fresh air. Um, so yeah, why don't we go ahead to switch to Amber and she'll tell us the inside. Hi Amber. Hi guys. Welcome to our home. Okay, so inside here it's pretty small. It actually has everything that we need for day-to-day -day living. Uh, we have our dinette right here, which this tabletop can scoot down with the leg flipped in and these cushions slide across and it turns into a bed. Looks to be a little bit bigger than a twin size bed. Um, I would say one person, maybe two max could fit there. Um, as John pointed out before, we have the window and the screen here, so it brings in a lot of airflow. So on a sunny day, it's really nice to have that open. Um, we actually do have a lot of storage, which we didn't think before. And if you notice our designs, those are our Valentine designs. Those will come down. 
Um, but this is where we have most of our dry goods. As you can see, we pretty much packed it in there. Um, but amazingly, we can go through that food in two weeks. There's another side here that has your DVD player and controls for your sound system. Right above here, there is um, built-in Bluetooth. So if you're talking on the phone, um, it will come in the whole camper. Also, if you want to play music, it'll play with the speakers throughout the, the coach here. Um, we do have another little cupboard as you walked in that holds spices and teas and things like that. Very handy for all those little tiny things. And just to back up for a second, I will say being a music guy, the sound system is one of the nicer things. Fills up the whole room. You've got speakers up here and speakers in the back. And so under you can control the front and back. But yeah, so some nice, nice sound coming out of here. And we have the propane cooktop, which is pretty excellent. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is if you have more than one, if you have a big fry pan and a pot, it is kind of tight there. So just keep that in mind. We've switched to a lot of one pot cooking, which really helps. Light and vent above. Uh, we found this little RV uh, dish drainer, which helps well because there is not much space here, as you can see. Um, in fact, we really don't have prep space right here, which is we use our kitchen table for that. Uh, we opted for the convection microwave oven. You had the and option of doing what? You could have done a propane oven um, or this convection microwave oven. And we chose uh, this so that when we were hooked up, we could do things like microwave a cup of tea um, and things like that. And we've noticed it, it wasn't hard to adapt to. You just can't use more than about an eight by eight Pyrex. So no nine by 12 pies and cakes and things like that. Let's just storage underneath. Um, and above here, there are two more storage containers. This is our fridge. It's a little bit bigger than a dorm fridge. However, it does have a freezer and this freezer can fit a container of ice cream. That was really important. Um, so it definitely fills about a week's worth of food. And our television is here. Pull the string, it pops out. You could go one way or to the bedroom area. <laughs> Squeaky. A little noisy, but it works. Um, uh, with all Airstreams, it has a fantastic fans up top. We have two in our model. Um, they bring in nice airflow. They will automatically shut if it senses any rain or water on top, which is cool. Um, we have a closet. It's really tiny, but we packed a lot in there. So it's amazing and deceiving how much you can squeeze into this little closet. We have the 19 foot, um, corner bed. So this is a pretty small bed. It's just about the size of a full size bed. Um, I have to say it was pretty uncomfortable, the mattress it came with. So we purchased, which you can't probably see here, a three inch foam and cut it down to fit. Um, that's memory foam and it made it a lot more comfortable for about a hundred dollar investment there. So yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, we get ours from Costco, but could probably get them from anywhere. True. So yeah, the option she said the corner bed is the 19 foot also comes in a twin bunk bed, which then doesn't have the cabinet up there to the left, but has two twin bunk beds up there instead. One twin. One twin. One twin. Oh, okay. Um, and underneath we have storage, and it came with these two storage toters and one larger one behind that. It just came with the model. I'm sure they come with all of them. Pretty handy. And we do have, as John said, two storage compartments, which is where we each have one to store our clothes. And that pretty much fills what we need for about two weeks worth of clothing, which is pretty much what we have. Um, our bathroom area has a lot of storage. It's a pretty good amount of storage. It also has two cover, cupboard down below. We added this little hook for our towels. Seems pretty handy. Um, all of your panels are here for your water heater, your lights, your heater, which is pretty handy and it works really well and quickly. Um, yeah, I'll say with the, thing that we added too. I'm just gonna say with the hot water heater, I know in other models, but we shower in ours obviously when we're hooked up. I, we have never ran out of hot water once. And I think it's only supposed to be a six gallon tank. We're just hooked up on electric right now with electric hot water heater. Has never run out. 
pretty impressed with that. Apparently you can have gas and electric at the same time. It's supposed to be super rapid and fill it, but we haven't even need to, to use that yet. And it does warm up extremely fast. Another thing that we added was just this little 3M stick on shelf. Uh, we found there was nowhere to put books in the remote control, so that really solved that problem for about $15. And this is our bathroom. John will take you in there to take a look. Okay, shower. Okay, so I'm 6'4". You can see that I fit in here, no problem. Just going to go in there and show and you. The whole Airstream, stand up, plenty of room. Now we get in. <laughs> can't stand up all the way. I have to bend down a little. This has a seat. Never thought that I'd do a sitting shower. Works fine. Use the sitting shower. Bathroom. Works good. Exhaust vent up there right by where his head just walked past for when you're showering. Um, and we just have the standard toilet in here. We do not have a composting toilet so far. We've been good with this and find that dumping is quite easy for us. So just want to say in closing, like obviously you're looking at what kind of model is going to be best for you. Some 33 footer across the way, looks beautiful, amazing. There's no way they're going to be able to pull into a gas station like some of the gas stations that we have. But again, they have twice the amount of space comfort. So it's just kind of like, where's your sweet spot? What do you think you're going to need? And um, we thought we were going to do a lot of overflow in our tow vehicle and bring stuff in. So we use it for food or clothing overflow. I would say for our day-to-day -day needs, whatever fits in our camper, we found has fit pretty well. Pretty much that stuff in our truck is other kind of activities and materials and things that we use, but don't really need them for day-to-day. -day. The only thing in here that we didn't mention is when we got this, there was a pull-across accordion that made a divider between the bed and the kitchen area. We found there was really no need to divide the room and have that and open it up, and we just removed that. We actually had the deal to remove that. With a three-year warranty, we found a couple of uh, dealers. In fact, one of them, the uh, Bay Area Airstream Adventures, have been great as far as anything that we've needed. Little things like that came up here and there. They've taken care of, got us in and out, and they've been awesome and taking care of us over in uh, Fairfield, uh, California. They've been awesome. So Amber wants to say something. I don't know what. So. No, I wanted you to back up so I can stand up. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, hope this is helpful. If there's anything you want more on, I just know when I was looking for a 19-foot video and a walkthrough and just to see what it looks like, we couldn't find anything. And so hope that helps as far as this model. If you want to know about something else, I'd be happy to do another video and we can tell you more about specifics in the area if you have any questions. Our first video, so be kind in the comments. We know it's rough. Hopefully it gets you what you needed and at least introduces you to the idea of a 19-foot flying cloud. Peace.